looks all this silly coming all the way out of here and going back white. Chap, I you got some bird in Eastbourne last year. Came back looking like a Hindu. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody sunbathes out here in the afternoon, Charles. They all sleep. Oh, right. What about Ben? Let's go down to the village. It's quite shady down there. The place I saw this morning is called itself Ye Only English Tea Room. Might be worth investigating. <laughs> I'd rather stay here. But they don't serve tea in the hotel. Oh, I think they will in future. I'd be speaking to Marriott in the kitchen. <laughs> You'll never far with him. He doesn't understand English. Oh, I think he understood me. <laughs> I spoke very loudly. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, you must remember I did bring my own kettle with me. You can't very well go brewing up in the bedroom. Well, it wouldn't let me in the kitchen. Yes, I know, but, you know, but when in Rome and all that... <laughs> Precisely. And that's why I shall continue to doze for as long as the natives do. Ah, Marissa. Nearly tea time, isn't it? I will bring it now. Oh, you will? Thank you. Lovely day. Yes, I have been to the beach. You will go for a bathe. Yeah. You'll do not <coughs> of the sort. <coughs> I will bring tea. <coughs> if you please. Pretty little thing. Oh, yes, you would notice that. I thought what's the matter with you men. Honestly, the temperature goes above 80 and you all become quite impossible. Hello, Rick, dear. Oh, hello, Mrs. Hibbock. Good afternoon. Hello. Going for a swim? I might later, around Sunday, really. And how is your friend? Oh, really? She's terrible. The minute she set foot here, she went down like nine pins. It's the food, you know. Well, it's not like what you get back home, is it? You think they consider what we used to, wouldn't you? You know, sort of care to more <coughs> tourist. Well, if you wanted fish and chips, you should have stayed in England. Oh, I quite <laughs> like it all, really. But poor Reamy. One mouthful of dinner that first evening, and off to her room she went. And you know, she's had nothing but chicken noodle soup ever since. I hope you will find everything all right. Oh, I'm sure we will. Let me help you, let me help you. All right, Charles, she can manage. <laughs> you would like some tea, uh, No, thanks, not for me. And your friend, she is better, I hope. Pray not. What would she like for dinner tonight? Chicken noodle, I suppose. Do you bring really her before? Uh, not every, no. Usually go to France. You mean you go every year? Most years, yes. This is my first time. We've got a scheme now at our depot. Your depot? Yes, I'm a clipping. A what? <laughs> a bus conductress. Oh! I've never met a bus conductress before. At least, I've never seen one without her uniform on. <laughs> we all pay it so much a week, it's ever such a good idea. You want to try it. As soon as I get back, I start all over again. Mm -hmm. Well, I wonder what the new intake will be like. Quite a lot went home after lunch, you know, so there should be some more arriving this afternoon. Well, if anything like the ones who left, they'll be frightful. <laughs> that man from Cleethorpe's had the loudest laugh I've ever heard. It is awful that first day when you come into the dining room. Everyone's staring at you as you come in. Well, everyone's a bit shy at first, you know. Natural English reticence. I quite like it. Oh. It's wonderful to see them arrive all white and tired and sheepish. They're coming through that door as if they've no right to be here. Oi, watch out! Go blimey, man, you don't drop it! <laughs> you, you see what I mean? You, there's some coming now. When they come in, you just keep an eye on them, see what happens. Hardly speak above a whisper. <laughs> Oh, she 
don't know if it was Pancake Tuesday or Magic in Night. Oh, I was a bit sure to see my passport. And well, stuff. I... No? Uh, well, you're the first one that hasn't. All the way down here. Passport out, passport away. Honestly, I could have an old arsenal in my luggage, but as long as my passport's all right, everyone's happy. Marvellous, isn't it? Fiona! Get in here! You don't have to unpack it on the pavement! <laughs> this is, um... Epworth. Agatha Epworth. British subject. Yes, well, I... Oh, I'm sorry you don't speak English, do you? <laughs> Your birth certificate? There you are, 
Grazie. Grazie. Oh, what was that word you said just now? Prego. It's a bit like saying don't mention it. Oh, oh well, prego then, dear. I didn't remember that I got it. I should think that you didn't. What ever thought? There's nothing new there. <laughs> Is your husband coming on later, Mrs. Hepworth? No, I should hope not. Why? He's dead. <laughs> was my Harold. If he could get out of pain for anything he did. The result was he left a sackful and he left it all to me. That's why me and Fiona <laughs> hurt you. If he could see how he was spending his money, he'd turn in his grave. So I should think, waste the money, I call it. Don't go starting on that again. I didn't want to come out in the first place. Then why did you? What's wrong with Eastcliff? Oh, I will tell you what's wrong with Eastcliff. It's common. That's what. Common. Same old faces, day after day, until you're sick of it. Fiona Francis, we came out here to get away from all that. That was the reason I came. And you was right. <laughs> you was right, Mrs. Abbott. You was right. I knew a woman who went abroad once. She got bitten by a bug. They brought her back in a box. <laughs> Aren't you a little ray of sunshine? You'll like it here. It's ever so nice. A lovely sandy beach. What about the food? Well, it's not like you get in England. I'm not eating none of them octopuses. Oh, God, you don't get octopuses here. Don't you know nothing? Octopuses is Spain. I bet you can't tell what you're eating half the time. They get frog's eggs in France, heaven knows what will get you. You won't get nothing like that. How do I know? I bet they'll disguise it. Well, if they disguise it, you won't know, will you? I may not know, but my stomach soon will. Oh. I should think after 20 years of your shepherd's pie, your stomach's ready for any. <laughs> it's what I call rich cooking, you know what I mean? Spices and oils, that sort of thing. Oh, yeah, and there's a lot of pasta, naturally. I'm not eating none of them. Oh, do be quiet. You make me tired. Well, the first few days are a bit tricky, but I expect you've got your Alka-Seltzer. Ma, what? Oh, don't do that. You do so well, Nash. Bad enough, heaven knows. You mean I'm not really ill? Oh, see what you've done. <sighs> oh. Have a nice cup of tea. You'll feel better after that. I don't think I want any tea. I think I'd like to go to my room. Go have your tea and like it. <laughs> There you are. Can't complain about that. I haven't tasted it yet. Well, it's technically as soon as you get it home, get it down here. What's all this in little, little packets? Well, sugar, of course, what else? All wrapped up like that? Well, I never. They don't have it like that in the cargo, Mum. <sighs> well, this is a lovely hotel, isn't it? Nice, friendly atmosphere. That's what I like. We can all be one big happy family. Uh, will you excuse me? I think I'll go up to my room. Of course we'll excuse you, dear. Um, I'm going for a bed, dear. Oh, no, no, Charles. Um, well, I I'll wait here. No, no, no. What do you wait for? The starting gun? I don't know if I ought to. <sighs> Just a cup of tea, it's not going to hurt you. Are you sure it's all right? What do you think You think they're going to do to you out here? Poison you? Get it down you. Do you think I ought to take one of these little pills now? Those are for travel sickness. You should have taken them before we left. <sighs> <laughs> Carlo. The driver said he'd meet back at 
But when I got back, I found they'd gone without me. I've <laughs> <laughs> been following them ever since. Oh, that is hard luck. Are you sure you didn't make a mistake about the time? No, no, never. Mm -hmm. I work at the bank in Brighton. I've been planning this holiday for months. Oh, and now this happens. Oh, it was silly, wasn't it? Wasn't it silly? <laughs> so, I've got all the details here. This is my itinerary. <laughs> we meet at Victoria uh, on the Tuesday at 22.45 hours. We, we leave Victoria at uh, 22.15. <clears throat> and we arrive at New Haven. Yeah, I'm sure that's very interesting. Look, see, I've ticked off all the timings as we went along. <laughs> I'm like that, you see. Methodical. <coughs> yes. Well, I'm sure it's very inconvenient. Oh. It's not just the inconvenience, though, is it? It's my reputation. <laughs> you see, in all my 20 years at the bank, I've never been so much as a hateny out. Oh. And now this happens. Uh, it was silly, really, wasn't it? You really mustn't upset yourself, you know. We all have our little troubles. Uh, yes, but... <coughs> um, I've been saving for this holiday. Saving as old as I could. I planned it all. And now this happens. Uh, oh <coughs> you haven't seen anyone from Progressive, have you? Well, I wouldn't know them if I saw them, would I? You better ask the proprietor, he can tell you. Oh, yes, yes, I'll be doing that. The office is through there on the left. Oh, thank you, thank you. Uh, don't excuse me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, <laughs> my name's Mallet. JC Mallet. Silly name, really, isn't it? <laughs> Cheer up! 
bright sort of soul, isn't she? <laughs> I think she's going to be rather fun. Just what we need, my dear. What do you mean by that? Oh, nothing. I was just thinking. Well, I'm going on the beach. Bye. Bye. Did you hear what she said? Uh, yeah, she said she was just going on to the beach. <laughs> Not her, the other one. Oh, oh, oh. Beach games. Oh, I don't know who she meant it. I knew something like this would happen. I said you shouldn't go to the south of France as usual. I don't think it's as bad as all that. Don't you, Charles? Sometimes I envy you your tolerance. Well, we can always go to that other bit of beach. She can't find us there. <laughs> oh, can't she? I tell you, Charles, there'll be no more pennies. That woman is liable to creep up on us, beaming all over her face any time from now on. Something will have to be done about it. Will it? You will have to do something. Will I? <laughs> oh, yes, yes, uh, all right. Yes, rather, I'll think of something, don't worry. Come on, let's go and get the newspaper. All right, do try to think of something other than the cricket scores, will you? Yes, yes. Uh, excuse me, the uh, you have the scores? Please say yes. No. <laughs> So are we. Completely. <laughs> oh good, I'm not the only one then. <laughs> Enjoy it! I didn't even see it! The bloke didn't even slow down to go around the bends and always yapping, 15 to the dozen, looking over his shoulder and I was saying, Mate, you keep your eyes on the road, I want to get there, alright? You will get used to that. Really? Why, they all drive like that over here. Most of the time. God, if Mrs. Castle will only see. I will see which room you're in. What is your name, please? Oh, my name's Barrett, but you can call me Len. Hey, what's your name? Marisa. Marisa, eh? That's nice. You know, sort of... Foreign. Yeah, I like that. Whew. Oh, this place is full of birds. I've got my sonoyle. You don't look like you need it. You're brown enough already. I don't want to feel though. I want to show it off when I get back home. Mm. You're just arriving. Yes, I am. It's very nice here. Well, I like what I've seen so far. My name's Dora Cowley. Oh, Len Barrett. Hello. Nice to meet you. Um, yes, whereabouts do you come from? Lancashire. Oh, that explains it. I thought you sounded a bit funny. You are in room 25, Senior Barrett. Right. If you will follow me, please. Okay. All right, you all carry that one. It's too heavy for a pretty girl like you. You carry that one. There. Right. Where's the apples on pears? <laughs> After you, your ladyship. Thank you, dear. Hang on a minute. Have I seen you before, somewhere? I've only just arrived. Did you come here on the train? Yes, that's right. You got a friend with you? She's not my friend, she's my sister. Perhaps on the same train, dear. I fear I was. I mean, I think I was. Oh, no, that's all I need. <laughs> <laughs> Funny little chap. Well, what's the matter with him? You are move all right? Yes, he's quite nice, really. He's not like the Metropole, of course, but you can't have everything. Because a private bathroom. Yeah, but it's so funny. It's not like a proper bath at all. It's so small. I bet the family wasn't room for a long one. I shall feel so soppy sitting up in that thing. Oh, you'll soon get used to it, Mrs. Francis. Oh, Miss Francis, dear. Oh, mm. sorry. I thought perhaps you'd be married. Oh, no. I took one look at what happened to my sister and I said, no, not for me. I'm a spinster, dear. So am I. Sounds awful, doesn't it? I do think they could have found a better word. Oh, I rather like it. Or perhaps I just got used to it. 
Well, I'd better go and get my sun oil. <laughs> yes, I would. You don't want to burn. Right. Here we are then. What are these? Picture postcards, of course. Got your pen? Yes, but... Right. Let's get on with them then. I don't see why we have to write postcards now. Well, we're here, aren't we? Yes. Well, then tell them we're here. Can we write them tomorrow? Nah, you'll forget about it tomorrow. It's best to do them now, get them out of the way. I don't know what to put. Tell them you're enjoying yourself. But I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> well, tell them that you're not enjoying yourself then. Who's that one to? Mrs. Wilkinson. What have you Mrs. Wilkinson, 22, Ferndale Avenue. No, <laughs> the other side. Well, the picture's the other side. The other side of the back. Oh, nothing. Oh, you tell me what to say, Agatha. Well, put something like, this is a beautiful place. Uh, wish you were here. But I don't. <laughs> well, that's all right. She's not going to get on the next train, you know. This is a beautiful place. But this isn't it. This is San Remo. What about it? Well, I've been there. We well, went through it. Did I? On the couch. Well, I never noticed. <coughs> what are you doing there? I'm crossing out what I've written. What for? Well, if I never noticed, how do I know it's a beautiful place? <laughs> I've left it a bit late though. If I send them now, I'll be home almost as soon. Oh, that doesn't matter, dear. Send them. Let them know you be. And get on. All right. You're not writing a novel, you know. I'll bet send one to that Mrs. Fenwick. But you don't like her. I oh, know. But I just want to pay her back for the one she sent me from the south of France. <laughs> hey, what do you think of that one? Oh, it's lovely. All those bright colours. Yeah, that should show up. <laughs> Aren't you finished yet? Almost. What have you put? We are three minutes from the gently sloping beach of honey coloured sand. What? And the warm, caressing Mediterranean Sea. Behind us, the hillside villas gleam white and fresh amongst the pencil-like cypress trees and coloured drunk flowers. The what? Coloured drunk flowers. The air is warm and any sense, and we are enjoying these enchanting shores. You can't put that. Where did you get that from? It's all here in the brochure. Oh. <laughs>
fact, I decided to come by myself. Really? Oh, now you should have come with us. We had a lovely sing song on the couch, didn't we? Yes, I had a lovely. Oh, <laughs> uh, Marissa, I see. Uh, I was supposed to meet two old bats off the couch this afternoon. I seem to be mislaid. I don't suppose there's been any use of activity. Hepworth and Miss Francis. But they are here. Where? Over there. Oh, God. Oh, I have Mrs. Hepworth, Mr. Whipple, and the other old bat is my sister Fiona. <laughs> she said you weren't expecting me. Well, as far as I'm concerned, we're not. Well, it's kind of you to say so. But if your name is Mrs. Hepworth and this is Miss Francis, then I think you will. Oh, no. And I promise you. I don't want any of your promises. According to our uh, uh, brochure, our representative is Julian. He's the chap for us, ain't he, Fiona? Yes, that's right, Julian. I am Julian. You said your name was Will. Well, it is. But the country prefer to call us by our Christian name. They seem to think it gives an air of bonhomie to this evening. You haven't made a very good start, have you, Mr. Whittle? <laughs> Julian, Agatha. He's Mr. Whittle to me. I will give you a drink. Well, if you have any queries or problems, come to me. I'm to be found between 11 and 12 in the Café Rimon, and between 6 and 7 in the Bar at the Marine. There are certain fascinating trips from day to day to the local beauty spots and places of interest, and you can call these through me. There's a trip up the mountain on a rather nasty little coach, but it's quite fun in the McCall sort of way. Now there's wine tasting, Tuesdays and Friday evenings, I can certainly recommend it. I should be popping in and out from time to time, so don't hesitate to ask me anything you like. Oh, my Here is the gym. Thank you. Well, I'm going on to the beach. I don't suppose anybody wants to be shown the way, do they? Uh, no, I think I'll stick around here and have a cup of tea this morning. Oh, all right. I expect I'll see you later. ta -ra. We'll probably be down there in the morning, Dora dear. Oh, oh yes. That'll be lovely. She's a sweet girl, isn't she? Shall I bring you some tea then, Senor Bannon? Tea? No fear. But you said... Oh, yeah. Um, no, actually, I think I'll have one of those orange things. They look nice. Yes, I can thoroughly recommend it. It's beastly weather. Why, well, don't you like these? Oh, no fear. Stay on the show as much as I can. Yeah, so how long have you been out here then? Well, since May. I'm here for the end of September. Nice job. That's what I thought. Take my word for you, did it? Well, why not? My dear fellow, have you ever tried looking after a lot of English, English tourists all hell bent on having themselves aboard? <laughs> well, how did you come to take the job in the first place then? Well, no, I spoke Italian. Got sick of selling insurance. Thought they'd change of air and do me good. Uh, I just think when you get back home in September, you're going to be as brown as a native. Oh, I'm afraid not. Why not? Well, I turn pink, you see. Pink like a piece of lipless paper if I spend too long in the sun. <laughs> That's why whenever I can, I've done for the shade. <laughs> it's strange that we didn't recognise you from your photo in the brochure, Mr. Will. <coughs> I've aged and soured since then. <laughs> <laughs> Anything for anything. Anybody can think war 
ever been declared to see their anxious faces jockeying for position. Well, it's only natural, my dear. Miles away, for around and all that, I'd like to know what's going on in the old country. And what is going on? Well, pretty grim, I'm afraid. Five wickets down and only 50 more. <laughs> <laughs> Ridiculous game. You men are like a lot of children. Uh, more of your brood riding today, then, Will? They have arrived. <laughs> oh, oh, I say. So, you're with Mr. Whittle, are you? Yes, we are. Mr. Whittle has just introduced himself. So you had the advantage over me, you at least had an idea of what I was going to be like. <coughs> has Mr. Whittle informed you of all the trips available to you? Yes, he has. Oh, I can recommend them all. <laughs> oh, we didn't come here to go on lots of trips, you know. Oh, but you must. <laughs> What's the name, Whittle? So, I mean, I mean, there are so many wonderful sights to see, aren't there, Whittle? <laughs> Rather. So, I mean, I mean, you wouldn't want to come all the way out here and go home again without seeing the sights, would you? I mean, it'd be like going to Blackpool and and uh, I'm not seeing the tower, wouldn't it, Whittle? Very absolute. <laughs> Mr. Whittle can arrange a trip for you every day. <laughs> With pleasure. But we, if we go on a trip every day, we won't be here. No, you wouldn't, would you? <laughs> <laughs> well, we come here, Agatha. Yes, we have. And we ain't moving. Mr. Whittle can arrange as many trips as he likes. I reckon we can have just as much fun here, don't you, Fiona? Well, Agatha. Yes, of course we can. <laughs> We can have lots of games and things on the beach, and I'm sure there'll be music and dancing in the evenings. And, as me and Fiona haven't been here before, we'll need someone to show us around. That's where you come in, Major. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bet you know where to find all sorts of nightlife, don't you? You can show us the town. And, if Mr. Will be ace himself, he can come too. Oh, Fiona, I can't wait to get started. We haven't even seen the village yet. Come on. I don't think I want to. Oh, of course you do. Come on. But I'm tired. Tired of sitting around. That's your problem. Come on, the exercise will do you good. Right, we shall not be long, everybody. To the loo. You won't be able to see the shops at Eastcliff. <gasps> well, there won't be your Marks and Spencers and your boots. Oh, dear. But there'll be something similar. Come on. And do try and cheer up. We come here for you to enjoy yourself. And I'm going to see that you do. If I was at East Cliff. <laughs> sleeping in a room with a cement mixer going on outside. <laughs> Go and tell me about that when I've booked that holiday. That is the new Alex. Oh, is it? Yeah, tell you what, these blokes, they start early, don't they? If we get down in England, we all go out on strike. Yeah, anyway, I couldn't get much kip after they started, so I went for a walk down the old beach. Very nice, too. Yeah. Can you tell me, we'll tell you for breakfast, don't we? No. It is served until 10 o'clock. Ah, OK. Hey, Marissa. There's a nice place to go swimming around here, you know, somewhere nice and quiet. Along to the right. You have to dive in off the rocks, so not many people go there. Oh, is that where you go? Sometimes. Uh, you are uh, uh... a senior pilot. I have work to do. Okay. Um, are you a good swimmer, Marissa? Over here, the children, they learn to swim almost as soon as they can walk. Ah. So do you get the chance to go to the beach very often? Sometimes I go in the afternoon. By yourself? No. I have four brothers. They are very big and very strong. <laughs> Good morning. Hello. I didn't see you at breakfast. I haven't heard it yet. It was ever so empty at breakfast this morning. There weren't many people there at all. It, it, it just was ever so empty. Mm. This morning, more people have had breakfast in their rooms. Oh, oh would you have some coffee, Tim? She really is. She is not <coughs> a very small little afraid not. A croissant butter, perhaps? 
Oh, I shouldn't think so. One that could set a rat off. I'll be in for my breakfast in a minute, Marissa. I wonder what you two were talking about when I came in. John, you would not be surprised. You know what these Continentals are? Hot-blooded. I expect she goes after every man she sees. Well, I can't help it if she thinks I'm easy to me, can I? Are you staying long? Well? Yeah, ten days. Oh, you're lucky. We go back on Friday, me and Reedy. So, Reedy, is that your friend? Yes. She took one mouthful the first night here and off she went like greasy lightning. Been in her room ever since. Well, if you're going home on Friday, you've got the most time left. No. Mm. I have sent coffee up to your friend. Oh, thanks. Right then, you gorgeous thing. How about sorting out my breakfast then? It is already served, Signor Rand. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. All right, then. All clear. Morning. Oh, good morning, Marissa. Buongiorno, signor. Buongiorno, signorina. Good oh, morning, Marissa. Are you coming on the beach for swim this morning? Um, very likely, very likely. Any sign, Marissa, is there any sign of uh, Mrs. Hepworth and Miss Francis? And Miss Francis is having her breakfast. Mrs. Hepworth has gone down to the village. Oh, good. She will not be very long. Not so good. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, we decided to have it in our room. Mrs. Hepworth was asking where you were. Oh, was she? Mm, we thought we'd go out onto the beach. If we don't get away soon, she'll be having us building sandcastles before you could say to Jack Robinson. That's why there were so few people in the dining room for breakfast. Well, we, 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 decided, uh, we decided to have it up in our room. I'm, I'm uh, you know, I'm... Are you, are you surprised you saw the way she behaved at dinner last night? It seems a bit unkind, doesn't it? Unk Unkind? Unkind? She was shouting across the room to all and sundry. I've never been so humiliated in my, in my life. People will begin to think I'm uh, not a pity at all. Uh, come on, will you? Let's go and find some cover before Mrs. Hepworth arrives. Oh, oh just in time. On jaw now, everyone. Good morning, Mrs. Hepworth. Get yourself to the beach, Dora. Well, just wait a minute. Get over now, General. Brigadier. Oh, yeah, sorry. We were very naughty this morning, weren't we? What happened to you at breakfast? You weren't on parade, were you? Uh, no. Uh, uh, um, my wife, she, she felt a little peculiar. Oh, yeah, I can see she doesn't look too good. <laughs> Get him chasing them all around on the beach and that'll soon put the roses back. Actually, I, I've got a little stroll into the village. Oh, you're too late. I've just been. Now, what do you think of this hat? Suits me, don't you think? I thought it was ideal just to keep the sun off. I thought the idea was to keep get the sun on. Oh, well, you can't overdo it, you know. You've got to be careful. Any sign of that sister of mine, Marissa? <coughs> uh, I think she has gone back up to her room. I'll be a good thing, too. Gone to change, I shouldn't wonder. Came down to breakfast this morning, jumper and tweed skirt. I said to her, Fiona, I said, as soon as we finish breakfast, you go straight up to that room and get changed. Honestly, I said, I'm not having my sister be in the laughing stock. Least you can do is put on a cotton print. I got this app for her as well, because uh, she's got very soft skin, you know. Well, two minutes in this evening, she'll cook like a cinder. Oh, Marissa, be a dear and tell her to hurry up, would you? Si, Signora. We mustn't keep you all waiting, must we? But you're all dying to get down onto the beach. Well, uh, yes. Uh, 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 yes, well, uh, the wife and I thought we'd just nip into the village. few things I want to buy. Oh? Uh, um, shaving cream, you know, things like that. Oh, just a moment. There you go. I heard you mention it last night, so I thought I'd get you some. Save you the trouble. Thank you very much. <laughs> Think nothing of it. Saved you a journey. Uh, no, uh, there's some other things we want as well. Oh, uh, what's that? Um, the morning paper. Oh, it doesn't come till this afternoon. <laughs> oh, no, I forgot. So you don't need to go to the village after all, do you? No. James <laughs> 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 not. Uh, Dora, where, where are you going, Dora? To the beach. Yes, well, just wait a minute, dear. We're all coming. Where is that sister of mine? Thank 
if we all go down together. Otherwise, we might not meet up on the beach, and that would never do, would it? Oh, now, you had better sit down until you're feeling better. There we go. Now, oh, I almost forgot. What? Beach ball. I don't want to. Oh, <laughs> you're officer commanding beach ball now, that's what you are. I'm oh, nothing of the sort. He is, isn't he, Dora? Oh, yes, of course he is. There you go, proposed and seconded. You better start with Louie. <laughs> what? Well, you don't think we can kick it around on the beach like that, do you? Well, I've never blown up anything like this before in my life. Then it's our time you started. I refuse, absolutely. Oh, Brigadier, don't be such a spoil sport. All you have to do is blow it all. That's not much for a big, strong man like you, is it? Well, I, I rushed but... For heaven's sake, just blow it up and get it over with. Very well, dear. <laughs> you haven't got much wind, have you? I told him, I, I'm not used to this sort of thing. Well, keep trying. <laughs> I can't do it. Oh dear. Well, I'm sorry. Just fancy. I'll be bad like you and you can't blow better than that. I was a brigadier, not a bugler. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I think he's having his breakfast. Mm. Something strange about him. I thought so from the very beginning when he didn't want to come on the coach with the rest of us. <laughs> I think there's more to him than meets the eye. Well, what does meet the eye seems quite nice. Oh, I see. That's why you wanted to sneak off to the beach before the rest of us. You be careful. I've heard about men like him before. White slavers. Put your son out down over your eyes for two minutes and the next thing you know you'll be in Morocco. It wouldn't be anything like that. All right, you see. Only don't say I didn't warn you. Where is that sister of mine? Fiona! Coming, Agatha! That time too. She'd be late for her own funeral. <laughs> good morning, everyone. Oh, no, good morning, good morning. Good morning. Well, let's have a look at you then. Other side. Yeah, you'll do. <sighs> you kept us all waiting. Did I? Yes, all these people want to go to the beach and we couldn't go until you arrived. Sleep well, Miss Francis. It took such a long time to get off. They're very noisy in the streets out here at night, aren't they? I suppose it's because they're continental. <laughs> You slept well enough this morning when it was time to get up for breakfast, I know. You nearly made us miss it. No proper breakfast either, just coffee and rolls. In England, you get porridge or fruit juice with eggs and bacon to follow. Oh, right, well, you're in Italy now, aren't you? So you've got to behave like a native. What's wrong with coffee and rolls, anyway? No proper marmalade either. Well, what are you moaning about? You brought your pot of golden shred, haven't you? Well, I feel so guilty sneaking it into the dining room in the outback. There's nothing wrong with that. Sorry, I kept you all waiting. Oh, I don't know. You see, I had to go and change. Yeah, I should think so too. Coming down there all muffled up like it was the middle of winter. Well, you look very nice now, Miss Francis. Don't you like it? It's very pretty. Mm -hmm. You see, I saw it advertised in the newspaper and I took a basket to it right away, so I cut out the coupon and I sent it up. Did you bring the camera? Oh, I forgot. Oh, Fiona Francis, you are the limit. I distinctly told you to bring the camera down when you went up to change. I do wish you'd try and improve. I don't ask you to do many things, heaven knows, but I do wish you'd try and do them when I do. Well, shall I go and get it now? No, don't you dare. We don't want you to be hanging around you all morning. Marissa, dear! God, we've waited long enough as it is. We could have gone without me. We'd never have heard the end of it if we had. Well, I wouldn't have minded. I'd quite like a quiet sit down. I'd finished reading my woman's own. You didn't come here to read. You could have stopped home to do that. Ah, oh, Marissa, 
be a dear and slip up to our room and fetch the camera that's on the bed, would you, dear? Oh, she's such a sweet girl, isn't she? Always happy and smiling. I like to see people happy and smiling. You listening, Fiona? <sighs> There's enough misery in this world. Don't you think so, Captain? <laughs> Brigadier. Yes, indeed I do. I should like to go to the beach. Oh, yes, and so you shall, dear. We'll all go in a minute. Here. Fiona, this is for you. What's it for? Put on your head. But I should look so silly. Well, it's not going in for a beauty contest, you know. But it's so big. Well, yeah, because you don't want to burn, do you? That's the last thing you want. Get it on. <laughs> I can't see. You don't have to wear it like a cowboy. Oh, thank you, dear. Right. Oh, well, I think we're all ready to go now, aren't we? Um, now, uh, when we get down to the beach, I want to take a nice little snap of all of us. Um, uh, now, Fiona, have you got everything? Are we all ready to go? Okay, come along then, Mrs. Abbott. I'm sorry to have kept you all waiting. Now, Brigadier. Oh, I got it right that time. <laughs> <coughs> have you got the beach ball? No, I gave it back to you. Oh, yeah. That young man was going to uh, blow it out, wasn't he? Um, Taking his time. I'll tell you what, Marissa, tell him to follow us down to the beach, will you, when he's ready, and we'll watch out for him. I'll wait for him if you like, Mrs. Hepworth. Oh, no, Dora dear, I want you in the front of the photo. Marissa will tell him. Right, come along then, everybody, off we go. <laughs> Fiona, for heaven's sake, don't talk about. I don't feel very well. Blimey. <laughs> I think I'd better sit down for a minute. <sighs> I want to get you a glass of water, Miss Francis. Bad luck. Change of air, that's what it is. Often affects you on the first day. Best sit still for a while. Stay out of the sun. Just how it took my friend Reeny. First day here, down she went like a pack of cards. Oh, don't encourage her, Dora. There's nothing wrong with her. Glass of water should be as right as rain. Still, she'd better sit still and stay out of the sun. <coughs> It's happening to me, Agatha. What's happening to you? Same as what happened to that woman I told you about. Bit by a bug she was. Passed right away. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to pass away. And besides, you haven't been bitten by a bug. How do I know? How can I be sure? Because you'd have felt it. We might have that for tonight. Tom told you we should have had mosquito nets. Oh, you don't need mosquito nets here. Oh, blimey, this is all I need. Uh, perhaps, uh, perhaps she's got a brandy. Oh, yes, that'd be nice. She has a drink. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, very sorry. But my wife and I will just pot off down to the beach. So, sorry we can't, you couldn't come with it. Uh, see you later, perhaps. Uh, goodbye. Uh, uh, goodbye. Oh, thanks, love. That was good of you. Here, have some of that. <laughs> well, you didn't have far to go. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think I'm going to die, Agatha? Oh, I shouldn't be surprised. You might at least wait till we got home again. You are not going to die, Miss Francis. Aren't I? No, you will soon be better. Then you will be down on the beach and get some fresh air. Oh, that is hard for you, dear. I will be through here if you need me. I suppose you realise what you've done. No, what? Made us both a laughing stock, that's what. I've never been so ashamed. What? And now they've gone without us. Ever knows if we'll find them down there on the beach. I can't help it. I ate something that disagreed with me. What, pray? This morning you had rolls and butter and coffee, and last night you turned your nose up at every course on the menu. Don't tell me that even you can get uh, ill on three of these. Well, the eggs aren't like the ones in England. Even out here, Fiona, the eggs still come from hens. I knew a woman who died after eating eggs. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sure you did. She went all purple and died. Oh, well. You're still white, so you've got a long way to go yet. I'm 
thought you'd be down on the bench. Yeah, we would have been. But my sister's come over queer. Yeah, I think I don't know. No, she's passed over, Mr. Barrett. I can't help it. I think I'd like to go to my room and have a little lay down. Yeah, I should if I were you. At least if you're going to pass out, pass out somewhere in comfort. Yeah. Perhaps I should take one of these little pills. They're for travel sickness. Well, maybe that's what I've got. Well, you really walk down the stairs. You can't walk that way. <laughs> well, perhaps it's delayed action I'm paying out for yesterday. What can you do with her? Honestly, I ask you. What can you do with her? Here, wait a minute. Maybe I'd better come with you. No, Beth, then no. I don't want to be trouble to anyone. If I'm going to die, I'll die alone. <laughs> Oh, now you're the very person I wanted to see. 
Um, I hope you didn't think I was being uh, forward with your wife. <laughs> <laughs> You are on this deck, right? Oh, God, no! <laughs> this is Mr. Whittle. Any worries, queries, or problems, and he'll help you, won't you? Oh, if I can, if I can. But you aren't one of mine. You're not the leader, are you? No, I'm a progressive. Oh, that's in my province, I'm afraid. Well, I thought maybe you could stretch the point a bit. Well, I suppose I could. I've been in trouble with trouble with head office. But he's English. My dear man, I'm the Eagle Tourist representative, not the British Consul. <laughs> Haven't you got a progressive rep out here? Well, I'm not supposed to be here. <laughs> I got left behind by the coach in Monte Carlo. Well, that was careless. Yes, he was careless, wasn't he? <laughs> wasn't it <he> careless? <laughs> I suppose I can. But what I really came for, Mrs. Eccles, is your green cup. Oh, Marissa said there was no coffee, so I brought you an orange juice. Oh, thank you, Miss Cowley. I haven't thought for a lot. Delicious. Like that. But to me, 
it's the coat. Oh, uh, silly, really. Wasn't it? Wasn't it? Very silly? interesting. <laughs> oh, perhaps you'd like to check my itinerary. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, good morning, Miss Rouse. Not going to the sun. I haven't been well, Julian. Oh dear, what's been the matter? Well, I expect it was that fricassee chicken I had last night. Oh dear, you feeling better now? Yes, thank you, dear. Ina, look what I found! Where did you get that, Mrs. Epworth? Oh, I think it belongs to that ginger kid. He left it on the landing. That's stealing. It's what? Stealing. Oh, blimey. Do talk sense. I've only borrowed it, that's all. You can have it back this afternoon. He's a nasty little boy anyway. I know you're feeling better then. Yes, I was just telling Julian I expect it was that Bristol K of chicken we had last night. But you didn't have it. No, but I saw it. <laughs> <laughs> but you didn't feel it until this morning. No, but the more I thought about it, the worse I felt. Yeah, the more I think about you, the worse I feel. <laughs> you only got a cricket, Mr. Will? I'm rather busy at the moment. Whatever work you can do, you can do this afternoon. It's part of your job. To, to see that we enjoy ourselves, isn't it? Well, yes, but... Right, then. you're playing cricket. Did you find the green form, Mrs. Eppler? No, I'll find this instead. What about you, Mr. Mallet? You any good with the bad ball? Oh, uh, I was just telling Mr. Whittle about how I got Yes, yes, you can do that while you're fielding. <laughs> you think you were born, silly mid-off. <laughs> <laughs> Or not at all. A bit more attention from you wouldn't have gone amiss either. What do you mean? 
Every time the ball came your way, you were gazing at some pretty girl on the beach. Who was to go chasing after a ball and then birds about? Then you shouldn't have played. You might remember I didn't have any choice any more than you did. Well, I do feel having agreed to play. I didn't agree, I was Shanghai. Uh, well, having been Shanghai, you should have taken it more seriously. It's only sporting. Quite right. I must say, Barrett, mother even. <laughs> I agree. <laughs>
should have that. There you go, dear. I reckon you deserve that. Oh, thank you very much. Don't mention it. <laughs> you are going to the dancing tonight. What dancing is that? Tonight there is music and dancing in the street. People come, they listen to the music and they watch the fireworks. It is very good. Are you going, Marissa? Yes, I will go later. Perhaps we can go together. We'll all go, then. Oh, do we need tickets or anything, Mr. Will? No, no, you can't miss it. Just follow the noise. Well, if you'll excuse me, I've got work to do. Oh, that's right, Mr. Whittle. Mustn't keep you from your work, must we? Oh, I'll come down with you part of the way. It's all right, I think I can manage. Oh, well, I haven't finished telling you about how I was... <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, no. There's a lot more than yet. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like me. And you don't want to miss your lunch, do you? Oh no, there's ten minutes to go before lunch. <laughs> now, where was I? I think you were halfway across the English Channel. <laughs> oh, that's right, yes. Well, it all went according to the timetable. I mean, at least, yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's all You don't mean it. Oh yes, I do, General. We must save some energy for tonight, mustn't we? Tonight? For the festival, of course. We'll all have to go. Do you think so? Yes, I do think so, Len. Young chap like you ought to enjoy dancing. Well, yeah, I'm... Uh... Right, then we're going. Oh, there you are, Dora. I thought you'd be going there. I thought you were going to miss your lunch. I just stopped to get some more sun oil. Oh dear. Did I use a lot this morning? Oh, it's all right. It would have gone soon anyway. We've just been a bit hearing about the festival tonight. Uh, uh, did you know about it? Oh, uh, yes, I did see something. You'll be going, of course. Um, well, um, I don't know. I'll tell you what. Let in! Oh, I think I'll go and have a wash before lunch. Excuse me, everybody. He's in a hurry. What do you expect? What do you mean? Mrs. Epworth, you weren't about to tell him to take me, were you? Well, um, why not? He doesn't want to. But I'll make him want to. You can't do that, Mrs. Epworth. Why not? You haven't got much time, you know, if you're going home on Friday. Um, no, but if I don't know. I could do it, you know. I know you could, Mrs. Epworth. Quite made up your mind, then, dear. Yes, I have. All right. I won't say anything. Promise. Promise. Well. I suppose we'd better go and tidy up then, Audrey, and we? God knows what I look like after the... <gasps> oh, Lord, look at that! I'm in bed after one morning in the sunshine. <coughs> I'm like that after one morning. What am I going to be like after a fortnight? Fortnight? <laughs> oh, well, you know, 15 days on holiday, 12 days in the resort. <sighs> By that time, I shall be the colour of a red Indian. But not quite so reserved, eh, General? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Audrey and Agatha, then, huh? <laughs> hmm? Um, I didn't have any choice, did I, John? You were getting on like a house on fire. You came in through that door like old school chums. And another thing, you didn't tell me you played cricket. You never asked. Well, I think you might have said before. <laughs> Possible difference could it have made? Well, if I'd known that you were interested in cricket, I'd have... I'm not interested in it. I hate the game. But I'm damn sure I wasn't going to let that woman show me up. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm blown. I think I managed to give him the slip. How on earth did I manage to do that? Oh, I looked in the gents on the corner and it's kicked up the back wall. <laughs> He'll probably find his way back up here. Oh, I hope not. Maybe he's gone back to the village and uh, he's gone. Uh, well, if he goes down there, if he, do he doesn't know his way around, you know. He'll probably get lost. He's <laughs> lost already. <laughs> you alright? Ah, yes, please, Marissa. 
Uh, large pink gin, please. What about you, Whittle? Do you deserve a drink after your athletics? I'll have a beer, please. Ah, oh, good man. Uh, Miss Cowley? Oh, no, thanks. Well, I'll tell you what, Whittle. You'll have to give me a few lessons in escape tactics. <laughs> <laughs> Mine didn't work very well this morning. Well, I thought that would have been easy for you, sir, don't you mind, and all that? Oh, yes, but rather underestimated the opposition. <laughs> <laughs> you go to this festival thing tonight? I expect Mrs. Hepworth will insist. Sounds like a lot of fun. Have you ever been to one of these things? Oh, yes, I went on Tuesday. I shall go again tonight, though. After all, it will be my last chance. Rini and me go home on Friday. <clears throat> oh, how is your friend? Does she do well enough to go tonight? No, I shouldn't expect so. I shall go on my own, though, I expect. Oh, well. Pretty girl like you were having any difficulty in finding someone to dance with, I'm sure. Oh, there are plenty of Italian boys. And they always keep asking you things in Italian and pretending they don't understand when you say no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, drinks. Thank you, Marissa. You going to this dancing tonight, Marissa? Yes, when I have finished here. Marissa dances like a dream, you know, right there. Oh, I bet she does. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you are. <laughs> oh, I can't. I probably can be well. No, it's quite cold.
Lots. <laughs> Oh, they're getting ready for the fireworks out there. I suppose we'll miss all that now, though. There's nothing to stop you going, if you want to. Oh, it wouldn't seem kind, would it? Not with Miss Francis still missing me, I think. Well, there's nothing you can do about it. Anyway, I don't know what all the fuss is about. There's nothing to prevent her going off for a few hours on her own, if she wants to. She's over 21, after all. I would have thought she would have telephoned or something. Have you ever tried telephoning in this country? There are as many hazards as there are in lots of other ways. Anyway, quite frankly, I think Miss Francis has been congratulated. <coughs> Why? Because she has succeeded in doing the one thing the rest of us have been trying to do all day. Escape from Mrs. Hepworth. You don't think she did it deliberately? That would be surprised. Oh. Perhaps she's taken ill again. She wasn't very well this morning, remember? Well, the whole town has been turned inside out to try and find her, so I'm sure she'll be back soon. <coughs> anyway, the police are out in force. Looks <coughs> something out of Gilbert and Sullivan, those ridiculous hats. <laughs> Mr. Wickle and Mr. Barrett are down on a house to house search, and every male holidaymaker in the vicinity has been roped in for the hunt. Well, I must say, the brigadier's working very hard. Well, he's having the time of his life. I don't think he's had this much fun since he organised the Home Guard. <laughs> well, I hope they find us soon. Uh, well, we've got the whole town sealed off. <laughs> she can't possibly get away. <laughs> Why do you think she's trying to get away? Oh, you know what I mean. Uh, now, here, take a look at this. <coughs> this might interest you too, Miss Cowley. There. Recognise it? Is it somebody I know? <laughs> <laughs> it's a detailed map of the area. Oh, I see. All this is a sea. <laughs> then why have you marked it in red charts? For sake of clarity. <laughs> It hardly makes it clear, Charles, if you mark the sea in red. Most misleading, I would have thought. Blue would have been nice. Oh, I've used blue already for something else. Well, then you shouldn't have done, Charles. <coughs> what do you think, Miss Callum? Hmm? What colour would you have used for the sea? Oh, blue, of course. There you are, Charles. Well, the sea is blue, isn't it? I don't know what colour the sea is. My sea is red. All right. All right, dear. If that's the way you want it. <coughs> it's inaccurate, though. <laughs> Look, I know the sea is blue, but for the sake of this map, the sea is red. All right. That's what we want. But it is inaccurate. <laughs> <laughs> this is the sea. <laughs> This is the railway line running across the back of the town. And these bits marked in yellow here are the hills. In yellow? <laughs> in yellow! I didn't say anything there. <laughs> this is the main road. It looks like a river. I don't know what that one looks like. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> with that one it looks like it's the main road. And, uh, and this is the line of beach huts on the sands. Yellow would have been lovely for the sands. The sands are green. <laughs> oh, <laughs> sir! Uh, do you want me to explain this to you or not? Yes, yes, of course, Charles. Please do go on. I won't interrupt you. I'm very sorry. Good. <coughs> now, this is the ruined church in the old part of the town. And this is the Cafe Romana where they have the roof garden. The local police are sweeping all of this area here. There's a group from the Miramar under a chap called Phipps, uh, and they're searching here. And another group under a chap called Humboldt are uh, searching this area here. Where are then, Mr. Whittle? Uh, 
There, down at the bottom, down here. In the green sand. <laughs> <laughs> Precisely. <laughs> They're working their way up here. And then we're joining in with the left flank of the Miramar here. And we'll continue down through the town and back to Bex. Where's that? That's here! Oh. <coughs> now, according to my plan, group commanders should be back in headquarters with, within the hour. And, uh, um, I, you've got, yeah. Where are you? I'm here. Here, in headquarters. That nasty little brown smudge. <laughs> <laughs> According to my plan, the group commanders will be all joined together and I'll be back in HQ, here, the brown smudge, <laughs> within an hour. Now, um, I, I really ought to go and put Mr. Hepworth, Mrs. Hepworth in the picture. Has anyone seen her? Well, she wasn't down at dinner. You know, I'm afraid she really is rather upset. Well, I'm sure she is. Yes, I know. I was very surprised to see her react in that way, you know, tears and all that. Never knew she had a dinner. Full marks for that, I might say. I suppose there's no news of Fiona. No, not yet, I'm afraid, no. Oh, Celia, oh, whatever's happened to her, Audrey, it's all my fault. She didn't want to come here in the first place. I made her, I said it would be good for her. Uh, yes, and, and you were right. Good for her? Be good for her. Nothing ever has happened like this in Eastcliff. No, it was me. I brought her out here to her doom. Oh, I'm sure she'd be all right. I'm sure she turned out perfectly well. Look, everything possible is being done to find her. And I'm confident that we will have found her within the hour very soon. Maybe I, I drove her away with the things I said. I'm a murderess. That's why I am. A murderess. Oh, oh no, no, Mrs. No. Please, Mrs. Hepworth, I'm sure she's all right. Oh, I do hope so, Dora. I do hope so. According to my calculations, she should be back here within the hour. Oh, and I can't tell you, Major, how grateful I should be when she is. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Mr. Barrett's not complaining, are you, then? No, no, no. 
because he's not up here, but he was down there. Oh, I hope you're not forgetting you're our evil representative. No, all right. And responsible for our comfort and everything. All right, all right, I'm prepared to go, I'll go. Good. Good man, Whittle, come along. Best foot forwards. Aren't you going to go and get yourself ready then, Len? Ready for? For the dancing. No, I don't think I'll go. Oh, don't tell me you're tired. Well, yes, I am, actually. Oh, young man like you. Go upstairs and wash your face. You'll feel right as rain. You can't miss out on something like this, you know. I say, Mrs. Hepworth. What is it, dear? It's raining. What about us? It's getting up. No. Yes. She says she's feeling much better that she might get up for a while. I don't believe it. I just had to tell you. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. <coughs> Uh, you wait here with me. Um, I'll go and see Jerini. I reckon she needs someone to leave. And I'm the best one for that. That's oh, all right. Then I know where she'll bring number 42. But right. Perhaps you'd care to join me, Audrey. I reckon the two of us are enough to put anyone back on their feet. Don't bother, Mrs. Hopper. It's no bother, Dora. I shall quite enjoy it. You will. After you, Audrey. Thank you, Agatha. <laughs> <laughs> She's uh, quite a character, isn't she? Yes, I like her. Yeah. Dora. Yes, then. Dora. You're a woman, aren't you? Yes, I suppose so. I mean, for the sake of argument. For the sake of everything, then I'm a woman. Dora, can I ask you something? Is there something wrong with me? What do you mean, then? Well, it's like this. I asked Marissa to go down to the dancing with me tonight, see? I see. And do you know what she said? She said no. Just like that. No. Really? Now, I wouldn't have minded if she was going with some other bloke, but she isn't. She just didn't want to go with me. Perhaps she doesn't like you enough. Well, that's why I was asking you. There's something wrong with me. Oh. No. I mean, maybe it's my face. Yeah, have a butcher's. <laughs> I mean, it's not glamorous or anything, is it? But it's not bad, is it? I think it's quite nice. Oh, in fact, maybe it's my voice she doesn't like. Oh, I like the way you talk. Oh, do you really? Oh, that's nice. That's great. You're a great comfort, you know, Dora. Am I? Uh, yeah. I mean, why should I bother? There's plenty more fish on the beach, isn't there? <laughs> yes, there is, then. Yeah. You know, if it hadn't been for you, I'd probably have spent the whole evening in the hotel moping. Would you have? Yeah, but not now, no. I'm off down there to get myself a glass of vino. Hey, Dora, you're a pal, thanks! Oh. Oh. Where's he gone? He said I was a pal. God, I'll give him pal when I see him. <laughs> oh, no, Mrs. Hepworth, you mustn't say it. Oh, I could be subtle, you know. He's not too interested. No, oh, you just love confidence, my girl. No point going into battle with an attitude like that. I'm not going into battle. Oh, yes, you are. It might not be much of an offensive yet, but you're going into battle, all right. You should have gone with him. But he didn't ask me. Well, then you should have asked him. Oh, Why not? Well, now you're going to have to go down there and find what? it. I couldn't. Oh, yes, you can. But, but what's about Rini? No, don't worry about her. The water is looking after her. Come on, let's get a change. <laughs> Uh, can't think what's happened to the blighters. Both seem like reliable sort of chaps. What are all the sorters uh, to go by the wayside? Where did they find the clue on the four meter? Well, then they should have reported back to me. They could have sent a runner. <coughs> you get some of these chaps back in uniform. I should make a little jump. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing you can do now, so I shall sit down and wait. Oh, uh, yeah, right, right, yeah. Yeah, 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 you're probably right, huh? Yeah, fine. Mario, uh, two large whiskey and soda, please. Well, what's happened to the wife? Oh, she's probably having a bath. Yeah. Oh, she likes to take a bath at this time of day. She's a woman of routine, Whittle. Well, that should appeal to you, sir, don't you know? Oh, yes. Oh, no complaints about that. I like to have a bath now and then. <laughs> <laughs> Gives me a chance to have a nice quiet drink. Thanks. Oh, thank you. Marissa, I'd have thought you'd already gone to the dance. 
dancing. I am just going now. You will come for a dance, senor? <laughs> Do not tempt me. <laughs> Thanks, I'm fine. <laughs> 
God, what's the matter with you? I mean, you must be worn out. I mean, the shock and everything. It must have been terrible. Were you frightened? Frightened, dear? Oh, no. I think you're ever so brave. <coughs> Are you all right, dear? Me? Oh, uh, of course I am. What, what do you mean? Oh, uh, nothing. Uh, I'm surprised you're not down at the dancing. Oh, well, I was going, but I decided not. Didn't he ask you to go? No. I think I shall go on being a spitzer all my life. Oh, of course she won't take my word for it. I used to think that. What do you mean? Don't, don't you think it any longer ago? You mean, you mean you and Mr. Mash? Nothing's definite, dear, but you never know. It's quite nice, really. Oh, where's it got to? Jack! Oh, Jack, where have you got to? Oh, sorry, right? So you're the one that's over us, Mr. Will. Go, you're about as bad as dancing as you are searching. You mean you're actually got him on his feet? I'll be most of the time. <coughs> so it would be better if I left. <laughs> 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 oh well, I suppose there's nothing any of us can do tonight. Though heaven knows, I shan't sleep a wink. Mm. The police say they've got everything covered. So first thing in the morning, you listening, Will. First thing in the morning, we start again. Oh, anything you say, Mrs. Hepkins. You ought to be glad you're earning your money for a change instead of sitting on your bottom in the sunshine. Nothing I should eat more. Oh, no, as fit as I used to be, Will. I say, a couple of dances and I'm quite breathless. You've been dancing then, General? Hey, yes, yes, yes. I, I, I thought I might pick up a few clues. <laughs> and did you? Uh, no, no. <laughs> Anything to report, Will? No, no, not a thing. No, no, no sign of Humboldt and Fitz? Uh, no, they, they, perhaps they deserted. Uh, oh. Possibly, possibly. Still, there were some good men up there. Wouldn't be somebody who would take over. Who was <clears throat> your search parties then, General? Here. Yes, uh, they appear to have got lost. Still, never say die. They're bound to turn up soon. Uh, anyone seen my wife, by the way? Why? Uh, not exactly looking. No, no, no. Just wondering. Just wondering. Thought she might be looking for me, actually. <laughs> You've been having a good time there, General? Yeah, Brigadier! <laughs> <laughs> Now look here, my dear. It's time you learn my rank, you know. Chopping and changing is bad for discipline. I am sorry, love. <laughs> oh, oh, there you are, my dear. I was just coming to look for you. Why do you say that, Charles? You know perfectly well it isn't true. <laughs> I just came down for my aspirin. Oh, <laughs> Irene has got a bit of a headache. Irene? Dora's friend. Oh, really? Her name is Irene, and she's a very sweet girl. Charles, you're looking rather flushed. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, uh, I've been running. Oh, why, some will be chasing you. <laughs> I would have thought you had quite enough exercise for one night. What do you mean? It must be years since you danced quite so energetically. <laughs> Danced? Irene's room overlooks the square, you know. I've been sitting with her. We've had a wonderful time watching you all. Oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, by the way, Charles, we must be up bright and early in the morning. Must we? Yes. Irene thinks she'll be all right to go out tomorrow, but poor Bill's only gone till Friday. And I tell you that she's going to enjoy every minute of it. Right, Agatha? Right, Audrey. <laughs> What's happened to her? I think she's gone mad. Just... Audrey! Audrey, here! Audrey, I say! Audrey! <laughs> oh, well, I hope Rainy does get up tomorrow and feel better. <coughs> Shame to go home without like, seeing the sea at all. That's a matter of opinion. Oh, you sound just like my sister, you do. Oh, the way she is. 
She's probably lying ill and lonely somewhere. Just call it out for me. Is that you, Agatha? <laughs> oh, what's that? Someone calling out for you. It sounded like her. What, your sister? It was her voice. How did it be? Well, it was. Or maybe I just imagined it. Maybe she's dead. Oh, she's come back towards me for my wickedness. No, Agatha, I'm over here. You're not dead, then. No, of course I'm not. Be ashamed of yourself. Are you all right, Miss Yes, I'm quite all right, thank you. Fiona Francis, where have you been? Well, first of all, I sat on the beach. You sat on the beach? Yes. We're all going mad with worry and you sat on the beach? It was such a lovely afternoon. Oh, I'll give you a lovely afternoon. <sighs> well, then I went for a little paddle while I tucked up my dress and I walked for miles. You haven't all been looking for me, have you? Not only us, the police, the coast guard, the fishermen, everyone but the camel corps. Barrett and I spent all afternoon on the beach. Oh, I saw you going by. You saw them? <laughs> yes, Sawyer. I didn't like to call out, they looked so busy. They were busy. They were looking for you. I thought never. Oh, my God. We have all been having a wonderful time this afternoon, but instead we're chasing around like a load of Ha, ha, ha. 